media base that's on here with us. So we'll just start off by taking questions. Uh, and we'll go first to Adam Teicher with ESPN. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Carson. Uh, congratulations and welcome to Kansas City. Um, I know you signed a, a one-year contract, so I'm just um, curious. This might be your only season in Kansas City. What, what do you want to get out of this season here if indeed you only play here for one season? And Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Yeah, great question. Um, lots of unknowns about the future. But, you know, it's it's all take it one day at a time, first and foremost. But, um, you know, big intrigue to, to wanting to come here. And, um, you know, why I'm here today is just the winning culture and um, seeing it from afar, um, seeing it around the league uh, for the last couple of years and just the culture that Coach Reed has kind of set. And you, you see it and have admired it for years. Um, and so, uh, that was a big piece of the puzzle uh, for me and, and the desire to be here on, on a winning team in a good culture and a good community with a good fan base um, just seemed like a good fit. Yeah. Okay. And uh, just curious whether you talked to Nick Foles about what it's like to play for Andy and for um, Matt Nagy and what he told you about that. Yeah, I actually never did in this process, but I mean, when I played with Nick, uh, I remember all the good things he had to say um, about his time here. He absolutely loved it. He loved working with those guys and, um, those, those things he said to me back then, um, definitely still rang true in my head, um, kind of as I was kind of making this decision, so to speak. So, uh, I just remember all the positive things he said about the organization, coaches, uh, those names you just mentioned. So, um, yeah, those things were, were definitely a factor and kind of gave me a little more peace and comfort, um, and knowing what I was getting into type of thing. Let's go next to Nate Taylor with the athletic. Go ahead, Nate. <clears throat> Hello. Carson, congratulations. Um, my question is, it, it's pretty clear the Chiefs wanted, or at least were pursuing you last offseason. Um, can you just explain just how much that may have played a role this time around and, and why uh, this offseason is the right timing for you to join the team? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things behind the scenes that people never really, <laughs> really know what's going on. So there's, there's always stories. There are always things. And so just – kind of how it worked out last year um, and don't need to go in depth about that. But I just think it was um, every year at this point in my career, this is year nine. Uh, I've seen a lot. I've played a lot of ball. Um, you know, it, I've been a starter. Now I've been a backup. You know, there's there's different things um, at play. And so for me, um, last year just kind of was what it was. You know, there's, there's lots of reasons why it unfolded the way it was. And uh, this year, um, you know, I think – just their persistence and some of those things, um, knowing um, made me feel feel uh, more comfortable with it as well. And, and just um, kind of the, the year I had and the year I was kind of sitting out, you know, it wasn't necessarily the most fun uh, sitting out all year and, and waiting for a call every single week. So uh, definitely just excited to be on a team and kind of go through the entire offseason um, with the team, build those relationships with coaches, you know, make some friends with players on the team, be in a locker room setting again. Um, just it, it, felt, it felt right and it felt like the right decision. We've got time for three more. We'll go right down the line, starting with Matt Derrick with Chiefs Digest. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Carson. Welcome to Kansas City. Um, weird time with Doug in Philadelphia. How much do you feel like that has prepared you for uh, Andy Reid's offense? And, and how much do you feel like it's going to be able to help you translate? Yeah, I mean, I don't know the X's and O's yet. Um, I see them from afar watching film or watching games, you know, whenever I'd see the Chiefs on on film and those types of things. But I would imagine um, it'll kind of make sense to me pretty quick because of that, you know, being five years with Coach Peterson um, and that offense is, you know, obviously there's always little intricacies and little differences, but I think a lot of it will make sense to me and kind of resonate with me pretty quickly. Um, and that part I'm looking forward to, you know, the last couple of years, offenses have been very different um, than I've been in. And so I've got to see a lot, experience a lot, um, so I think this one will kind of hit home, uh, so to speak, and be the most familiar for me um, over the last couple of years. We'll go next to Todd Lebo with 810. Go ahead, Todd. Hey, Carson. Uh, I I'm guessing that when you get drafted number two and things were going so well in Philadelphia, you might have thought you'd been there for 10, 15 years or something. What have you learned about yourself these last couple of years kind of moving around the league? Yeah, it's a great question. And without a doubt, those are those are all things. And you learn quickly to just take things one day at a time and try and be grateful, you know, and make the most of whatever opportunity God puts in front of you. And, uh, you know, I've learned uh, that I have an amazing wife, an amazing family and amazing support staff um, within my own friendship and family group. And so, uh, you know, life 
life doesn't always go the way we always plan and things don't always work out, but you know, you know, God is good and God's the one writing the story. And so for me, my faith has grown. Uh, my character has grown and just, you know, what, whatever the situation I'm in, uh, whether I'm the one out there playing, whether I'm on the sideline, you know, wearing a hat, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, last year I was at home a lot more, you know, I was waiting for a call waiting. So I was being a dad a lot more. So, um, whatever door God opens, just trying to faithfully walk through it. And my faith has really uh, grown and strengthened because of that, um, because of the different circumstances that have, that have come up. And uh, I'm grateful for them. And we'll go last to Jesse Newell with the Kansas City Star. Go ahead, Jesse. Hey, Carson. This one's a little bit out there, but uh, Brett Veach, the GM for the Chiefs, has kind of made mention in the offseason about getting a backup who potentially could run a quarterback sneak with the specific scenarios the Chiefs have. I know you've had success with that. Is that something you're prepared to do? Is that something they've talked to you about? That is news to me. Um, no idea. Uh, I mean, yes, I've had lots of success with that. Um, I would credit a lot of my success to Jason Kelsey over the years there in Philly. Uh, he was the real secret ingredient to that one. But, uh, no, I mean, I have no idea what, you know, whatever capacity, you know, they need me to help in any way. I'm, that's why I'm here. So uh, looking forward to it. Carson, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you soon. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, I know that kind of came together quick on us. Uh, appreciate you all jumping on. We'll probably have uh, something Monday coming. I know you guys have kind of all seen the news on Clyde. Once that becomes official, that might be our Monday.